Is my hair getting in this dye? I mean, this bleach. Jesus, it's it's time to go. It's, it's time to go. Find someone you know what put you through. You gotta keep, gotta keep your head up. What's good, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. It's your Sarah Brianna. If you don't know, now you know. So make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. In today's video, we have a sponsorship with Sims Beauty. I showed you guys how to install all of this hair from beginning to end. I showed you how to bleach the knots, how to dye it jet black, how to install it in like 30 seconds, all that, okay? So if you want the tea on this bomb hair and this silk base lace, your smam, then keep on watching. And don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Uh, Sam's Beauty really they really set your girl up, okay? Like, they did that with this sponsorship, okay? They sent me so much hair. Like, I'm shook. Like, look at this. Let me show y'all what it look like. This is cute. And yes, I got four bundles, y'all. Four bundles. Look at the packaging. Look how it comes with a little bow. It give you all the information. You feel me? Like, this is too cute. This is hecka cute. So let me tell y'all what I got. I got Natural Body Wave, four bundles of Natural Body Wave in the natural brown color, but I will be dyeing it later. So yeah, um, and I got two bundles of 26, and I got two bundles of 28. So yeah, four bundles, y'all, and I'm so, so happy that they sent me full bundles because you know, the longer the hair, usually the thinner the bundle. But, um, I'm going to show y'all. I'm going to open one up. Let's open one up. Take her out. Oh, she's really soft. She's really soft. I can tell this is brown. Like, this is heck of brown. Like, because I'm holding it up to the light. And I see that it has, like, a brown with reddish undertone. So, I can't wait to dye it. I think I'm just going to look real nice and beautiful with jet black hair. I've never had jet black hair also. So, this is going to be... A difference for me honey but um this hair smells like it got flew out for a couple of days and you know with some conditioner the smell will go away you know I gotta be honest with y'all but um I'm not getting any shedding the hair is actually really really soft so far no shedding not even one strand yeah damn a little tangle right there but like no shedding at all that is amazing the hair is really really soft and it's true to length this is a pretty darn long, okay? <laughs> so I'm expecting all the other bundles to be the same exact way. Natural hair, table free, chemical free, and long lasting wear. So it's lit, honey, it's lit. So now y'all probably like, where the fronts with sis? Where your closure? How you gonna make a wig with just bundles, baby? What you gonna you part? Ain't no sis. Let me show y'all what we have right here. This is how their freaking frontal came. Okay, baby? And looky here. What this say, y'all? That's a silk base. That says silk base, you guys. I'm so excited. I have never in my life tried a silk base frontal or wig, period. So I'm super duper excited. This is their silk base 3D lace frontal unprocessed version Remy human hair closure. It's not closure, but it's a frontal. So it's a 13 by four in ear. Okay, period. It has unlimited parting. Um, it says it comes pre-plucked. And I got it in body wave, natural black, and 16 inches, okay? So I'm definitely going to have to do a lot of layering on this wig because we can't go from 16 to 26 inches, honey. So, oh, wow. This is what it looks like when you open it, okay? This packaging is what I am here for, sweetie. Like, look at how they did this. This is amazing, okay? So it says that it was pre-plucked, um, but I'm definitely going to do some crazy plucking. This is what it looks like. The hairline is super duper nice though. Can't lie. And so is the hair. I think this hair is a little softer than the bundles. 
to be honest. So now I'm just gonna take y'all along with me. First step is to dye the hair. I was about to say bleach. I'm gonna dye the hair. I'm going jet black and I will be using Kiss Temptation in semi-permanent. This is the dye. That's what it looks like. I have two bottles, but I don't think I'm gonna need both bottles. But yeah, first step is to water dye the hair jet black. The next step is going to be to dye, not dye, bleach the knots. I'm gonna be using 30 volume developer and regular, what is it? Dup deep. What's, what's, what's the bleaching powder? What it's called? Hold on, let me get it. Yeah, BW. I was about to say WD. My stupid ass. <laughs> My stupid self. This is going to be the 30 volume developer. Developer. Hello, can I speak? That I'll be using. And this is the BW2 bleaching powder from Clairol, baby. And I'm also going to let the hair condition over. Am I the one that I do overnight? I don't know. I want it to be nice and soft, so I probably will do it overnight. And I'm going to use the Aussie 3 in 1 Avocado. This is my favorite conditioner right now. And as for my wig cap, I only use mesh caps. So, here's the one that I get. It's the Deluxe Stretch Weaving Cap because I have a big head, sissy poo. So, we need a cap with some stretch to it, baby. Okay, for you. And here is my needle and thread. This thread is from Amazon. It is a better thread than you would get from the beauty supply. Like it's a little thinner, so it's easier to like um, go through your needle and tie together. You know, it doesn't get like raggedy and tangly. So yeah, that's all I'm gonna be using, y'all. Um, so let's jump right into it, okay? Because I don't have anything else to say and I don't want to ramble. So let's go. Okay, you guys, so I hope y'all are ready to bleach some knots, baby, okay? So, I went ahead and I sprayed my entire lace, even on top, not on top of the silk base, but you know, everywhere else, I sprayed it with some got-to-be spray, some free spray. This is going to allow your knots to bleach, but it's going to protect the rest of your hair you know how sometimes you could over bleach your knots and it runs onto the hair we don't want that even though it'll be a super easy fix because we will be dyeing this hair jet black but you don't want to do that you don't want to do that okay because it's just it's just an easy step that can prevent that from happening so that's exactly what we did and now i'm going to go ahead and put my lace onto my cap and get her ready for bleaching for some reason, I didn't mention this, but you're also going to blow dry the free spray so it actually protects the hair. So now that we got our girl looking right, honey, let me uh scoot her down a little bit so y'all can see a little bit better. This is what it should look like. All the hair should be pulled back on the sides and the front everywhere. And you can go ahead and put your hair into a ponytail in the back. Now what I'm going to do is make a very thick consistency using my bw powder and my developer okay and i'm gonna use this little sticker rule little, little fake spatula thing to mix it all together i'm only gonna use one spoonful of this because you don't need much at all and all you're gonna do is eyeball the developer and you want something of similar to like toothpaste and you want to make sure that you mix it up really, really well. Now, the reason I say toothpaste is because you want it to be smooth enough to the point that you can smear it onto your lace. But you want it thick enough to where it won't seep through and go through to your hair. Even though you sprayed it, we want to always make sure that this is the consistency that we get. So now, I'm just going to take the same tool to start smearing everything all on my lace.
know you guys um when it comes to bleaching knots and the timing it is different for every brand of hair i've noticed sometimes i have to bleach for 15 sometimes i have to bleach for 30 minutes so i'm gonna start with 10 minutes and i'm gonna come back and check so right now it's 9 45 i'm gonna come back at 9 55 and see what we're working on So I'm about to go wash it off and when I come back, um, we will be upstairs about to water diet jet black, okay? My first time ever having jet black hair and I'm super duper excited. Is my hair getting in this dye? I mean, this bleach, Jesus. It's, it's time to go, it's, it's time to go. show y'all a up close visual of how the front two looks before plucking okay that's before and this is after and i just know that y'all can tell that it looks so much better i really don't be caring about the size as much but like really i know y'all see the difference and i'm not even done yet where my temples are is where i have less hair naturally so that's why i took more hair out right here you gotta mimic your own natural hair now so i just think it looks very seamless and i'm very proud of myself i also want to show y'all how much hair i took out so far this is how much so we have a lot more to go but i just wanted to stop in and check in with you guys
products um i love it i love this hair this hair is bomb it's super thick because i use like four bundles and a front two so it's giving body yaddy yaddy i did have to cut a lot of layers and i did do that part off camera just because i don't really know how to you know cut layers so i ain't want to show y'all how to do something because i did it a janky way but yeah i love this hair I love everything about it, and I look really, really good in jet black hair. But anyways, that wraps up this video. I hope y'all enjoyed. If you did, please be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Comment down below what y'all want me to do in the next video, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye, mamas.